the old school term um, that you got to run through the wall for your coach. You know, you got to run through the wall. And, and, and I think um, nobody's going to run through a wall for you, quote unquote, unless they know that you care about them. Mm-hmm. And so I had I had great coaches, and I think you, you just had to coach a kid differently back then because, I mean, frankly, coaches didn't know better. It was do as I say or I'll get rid of you or, right. or you know, the language, how you spoke to a, 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 a coach spoke to an athlete was different. Um, um, I, I'm glad a lot of those things have changed, honestly. Yeah. But I think you can – so I think you can – so one thing, you can still maximize and get the most out of a kid if you can reach and know how to communicate to them. There's not one way to communicate to everybody, but I think you still need to provide structure and discipline in, in, in the way that seems fit to that, that group. Now, an urban versus a suburban versus a rural situation are all different in terms of how they lead, obviously, but um, Coach uh, Joe Jackson and Coach Maddox, my, my high school coaches at, at Gonzaga High School in Washington, D.C., mm-hmm. I think they were, they were disciplinarians, and I knew that they cared about me. And they always talked about, I was a young African-American male and in the 80s and at a time where you were told that you were more likely to go to jail than go to college. And, and, and I think some of those issues still exist in urban areas. Uh, but I knew that they wanted the best out of me and, and they knew how to get out of me. I think, um, you know, now when I look at that plight or that, that stretch that I made and I look at how I talk to my kids, I don't over preach about what I went through when I was your age. I, I don't know. We had it rougher than you. I, I try not to be that guy. Um, but I do try to just just make sure that I'm inclusive. I listen. I have to give them a why. Um, right. It's important to be flexible because it'll help you prevent injury. It'll help. I have to get into the science of it all. Yeah. Versus, you better be able to do a deep squat, or else you'll suck. I mean, you can't say that to kids now. You, you know, you can't say that to kids. So, I try to take the best of what I what I learned um, as a as a child and and how people were able to reach me. And then and take some of that stuff and, and build it into being a better. I mean, I didn't I didn't grow up with a dad in my house, um, mm-hmm. you know. So I try to grow up and, and try to give some of those elements to to the my boys now. And and, and speaking of which, and and you know.